Hey, here I am today, back out in the shop. It's a snowy Saturday, cold, but I've got my heater setting up, and kerosene's burning, and I'm keeping warm. Today I'm gonna ramble on about a cold chisel. This one right here. The cold chisel usually is made for cutting metal and rusted bolts. It usually doesn't come out of the uh, toolbox until everything's gone wrong about trying to take something apart and you wind up taking a hammer and beating on it with this cold chisel and it's kind of satisfying. The thing about this cold chisel is that I made it. In 1969 at Purdue University. Yeah, my parents paid for a college education and I made cold chisels. I was in 1969, the engineering students at Purdue were over there in the building with their slide rules and they were solving great big impossible equations and working on there. And the hippies were running around out into the mall and they were talking about free love and taking life easy and using drugs. And there was about two dozen of us over in the Michael Golden Laboratories and we were doing things like this. But the thing about the cold chisel is it has to be, we heated it up red hot, of course, and pounded it out and forged it flat, sharpened it. And then we had to make this end really hard because you want it to be hard enough to cut the steel. On the other end though, you want it to be soft. When you hit it with your hammer, you don't want it to smash and break your hammer or put dents in your hammer face. You want it to be kind of mild and mellow. So you had to treat this end hard. We even heated it up and case hardened it, which was when you got at a certain temperature and you put it in some more carbon and added carbon to the outside of it, made it harder. Oh, but, the, and, and the trick was, you had to get this end hard, just right, but you had to taper the temper. That's called tempering, where you change the characteristics of the metal. You had to, to make the temper go from hard to soft gradually. And if you didn't, when we had the final exam on this, I remember the, the final test, the professor put a block of steel in the vise and he took the hammer and he beat on it to cut into that steel. And one student that wasn't particularly good at following instructions on how to do things, his chisel broke right there in the middle where he had it too hard down at this end. And then he, he, he changed, the change took place too abruptly and that thing broke right there in the middle. Well, that's probably about all you need to know about a cold chisel. But the other day I was in the, in the hospital getting my antibiotic and we're not gonna drill, dwell more on my health issues, but I do go to the hospital three times a week. And I've made a lot of good friends there at Community South Hospital, I'll tell you that. But one man in particular that comes by to see me is the hospital chaplain. And uh, the more I've known him, the better friends we got to, got to be. And I talk to him and I enjoy our talks together. But the other day I thought about him and this cold chisel. And I said, uh, Chaplain, his name is Christopher Randolph, if you ever get a chance to meet him. And I hope to have a picture of him here at the video at the end of this talk. But Christopher, I said, Christopher, he was a, he was a military man. He was an army man. He was in the army for a long time. He was in the 82nd Airborne. He was a hardened, hardened army man. He wouldn't just run up on you and, and and, and neutralize you. He'd jump out of an airplane, fall out of the air on you and neutralize you. That's, he was tough. But, the God, but God gave him a calling and he left the army and he went into uh, the ministry. He was a pastor for a while and then he became chaplain of the, of the Community South Hospital here in Greenville. And that's where I met him. And so I said, you know what? I think you're a man, you're just like a cold chisel. You're tough and hard on the end. You go into those rooms where people, you know they're hurting because they're in the hospital. You know they're sick. Some of them got just a few more breaths left before they leave the earth and, and move on to the other side. And he is tough. He goes in there and he gives them the gospel and he uplifts them a little bit, all he can. Not only that, he uplifts all the staff around there. Every, everybody around here, he's in charge. Of, I mean, he's the chaplain for all the staff, all the maintenance staff. He's the chaplain for the surgical center over out back. 
He's the chaplain for the, the cafeteria and the parking lot. And he tries to lift up everybody he meets while he goes through his daily job. So, he's tough, but yet he's compassionate. Uh, so I, I, one day I talked to him and I gave him the name. I said, Pastor, Chaplain, I said, you're a cold chisel. And I'll explain it to you. And I went through all this about how hard on the end and t tempered and, and not breaking in the middle. You have to have it, you have to be mellow. You have to have it, you have to have it the right gradual change. And uh, so I decided the other day I was going to get out this chisel that I made in, in college, 1969, Industrial Education Class Metalworking 101 one of the assignments and I'm going to put this on the plaque and I'm going to give it to him at the Cold Chisel Award for being a strong man of God that's compassionate and, and, and when you look at this Christopher I want you to remember this and that's what I think of you and I'm not just the only one so I got this old barn board here and I've got a little screw and I've got this this is a this is a a wire loom bracket or something I found in my drawer over there. I'm going to put that around. It just fits around the cold chisel just right. So I'm going to put it on here on this board and uh, just screw it on there. I think. Let me see now. How does it fit? Oh, I like it. I think I'll put it on there at an angle so, it, uh, so that they don't know that I can't get things straight. And I've got a screw in my drill. And let's see what I can do with putting that about like this. Yeah, I think that'll work. So here we have the first annual, or first annual, <laughs> first ever, probably first and last, a uh, cold chisel award given to a man of God who is strong enough to do the job, goes into the room where there's the hardest of hard things to do, and shares the gospel in a compassionate way so that the blows of the hammer that he receives during the day from the world don't damage him. And the gradual taper between the two, it's just a blend of everything. So. And, and, and this is old barn wood, very old piece. And because he knows it's from me, it's got a truck brand right there underneath it so that he knows that it's come from me and I made it just for him. Only one like it. Thank you for watching. I hope that I'll film a little bit when I give it to him so that he'll be on the end of it so you get to meet him too. Uh, God bless you. And uh, God be with you. And if uh, needed, I've got some backup that I know I can bring with me. Thank you for watching. So here's a picture of the award that I plan to give. And then now here's a picture of Christopher when I give him the award. This is my friend, Christopher Randolph, the chaplain of the Community South Hospital campus. And a good friend he is. Thank you for watching this. So what I got here, oh, the cold, oh, I made this cold chisel, that's the cold chisel. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. Okay, you got